welcome to Mojo Plays, and today, we're swinging from the rooftops and doing whatever a spider can to bring you 10 hidden secrets in Marvel's Spider-Man. God, you're weird. As a hero with a history dating back 60 years, there's always bound to be secrets and nods to the friendly neighborhood web-slinger's past and present adventures for die-hard fans to find. The Spidey Squad, my one and only fan club. What are your favorite secrets from Spider-Man's escapades in video games? Let us know down in the comments. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Avengers Assemble When Insomniac Spider-Man was first revealed, many wondered how connected it would be to the larger Marvel Universe and video games, such as Crystal Dynamics' then forthcoming Avengers game, and while Spider-Man wasn't directly connected to that title, it still had no shortage of iconic locations for longtime series fans to swing by. Spidey can zip by the Avengers Tower, the Wakandan Embassy, and even Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum, and if Peter snaps a pic, he'll even comment on some of the locations you visit. Too bad all of these locations are only explorable from the outside. Maybe in the upcoming sequel, we'll get the chance to explore more than just the outside walls of Avengers Tower. If not, then we already know where to find the developers at Insomniac to demand they give us the chance. The Fisk Estate Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I am covering the Fisk Estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. After taking down Wilson Fisk at the start of the game and putting him behind bars, all of Fisk's worldly possessions go up for auction and are on full display. In a later mission as players take control of one Miss Mary Jane Watson, players can explore all the relics and collections that once lined the many halls and walls of Fisk Tower. Aside from the usual suits of armor that are just a calling card for evil business tycoons at this point, eagle-eyed comic book fans can find not only Fisk's obliterator cane that conceals a concussive laser cannon, which we sadly don't get the chance to see him use during his fight with Spider-Man, you can also find a cello named after his beloved wife, Vanessa. What did Fisk call this? Vanessa? Symbiote action. I will find a cure. I will. After the end credit scenes hinting at Venom in both Spider-Man and Miles Morales, along with the release of the teaser trailer for the upcoming Spider-Man 2, fans don't need to wonder how long until we get to see the famous symbiote throw down with Spider-Man in the Insomniac Spider-Verse. However, some players found a hidden mention of the Lethal Protector long before his tease at the end of the original game. While exploring Manhattan, players are able to peer through the windows of some of the many apartment buildings. And while not super detailed, and many of the interiors are recycled, there is one of particular interest. Standing on a collector's shelf next to a Spider-Man action figure is a very obvious nod to the infamous black suit Spider-Man donned while combined with a symbiote. Yes. We will. Excelsior the king of cameos and creator of Spider-Man and many of Marvel's most iconic heroes, Stan Lee is synonymous with Marvel. And while Stan's cameos have become a highlight of the MCU over the years, besides his narration of the original Spider-Man game back on the PS1, Stan hadn't really been present in many of the video games based on the wall crawler. So it was a very pleasant surprise to see him running the diner when Peter and MJ meet up and also comment how the two were always his favorites. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. After his passing shortly after the first game's release, Insomniac went even further to remember the legend. So while exploring the city as Miles in the sequel, players can find a statue of Stan outside his diner, along with a plaque that reads, Dedicated with love to the man who nourished the hearts, minds, and souls of true believers everywhere. Excelsior. Paying respects. Uncle Ben's death is undeniably the catalyst that begins Peter's journey to becoming the Spider-Man we all know and love. And while Insomniac thankfully didn't make us relive this event for the hundredth time, 
you can still pay your respects to the man who made Peter the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man he is today. By visiting Ben's grave, Peter will comment he hopes Ben is proud of him and lets him know he's still missed every day. After the events of the end of the game, you can also find May laid to rest beside her beloved husband. Miles can also visit their graves in his standalone game, as well as visit his father's gravesite and pay his respects after his father tragically lost his life in the original Spider-Man title. A Simple Proposal A marriage proposal is a huge step for any couple, let alone making it a moment to cherish forever. One dedicated Spider-Man fan decided to reach out to Insomniac Games to ask for their help to proclaim his love for his then-girlfriend. And to his surprise, they agreed, even questioning if he could wait until the game's eventual release. In what has become known as the world's saddest Easter egg, players could find Maddie, Will You Marry Me on a theater marquee on Canal Street. Unfortunately, his girlfriend had broken up with him shortly before the game's release, and while Insomniac offered to patch out the proposal, the heartbreak was already done, and in Miles Morales, Insomniac just opted to change the building entirely. Who are you gonna call? We got one! Many locations are simply synonymous with New York City. From the Empire State Building to the Statue of Liberty in Central Park, when you think of New York, these are some of the most iconic places you can visit. In Insomniac Spider-Man, all of these locales are present, as well as some that are iconic for their impact on pop culture. One such building is the Firehouse building from the classic Ghostbusters movies. And while unfortunately you can't explore the building except from the outside, you can find a Slimer-style ghost graffitied on the backside, marking the location as the original Ghostbusters headquarters in all but name. This place is great! When can we move in? You gotta try this poll! I'm a really good lawyer. How did you just do that? I'm a really good lawyer. The Avengers are known the world over as Earth's mightiest heroes, but not many know there's also a street-level Avengers-style team-up fighting the smaller threats that would tend to go overlooked by the more famous world-saving team. With the likes of Daredevil, Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones, these heroes are finally getting some recognition not only in the MCU, but also in video games. And while we wait for them to get their own solo adventures, we can take comfort knowing they're still working to protect the New York area should Spidey become unreachable. Intrepid players can find the businesses of Nelson and Murdoch, the day job of Daredevil's Matt Murdoch, as well as the likes of the Rand Corporation run by Danny Rand, also known as Iron Fist, and Jessica Jones' alias investigations. Hopefully these nods point to a team-up in the future. It's been a long week. Backpacking. Spider plushie! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. Arguably the biggest treasure trove of Easter eggs in the entire game, tracking down Spidey's many backpacks hidden throughout the city hints not only to his comic origins and acts as a collection of his greatest hits, but also helps flesh out the last eight years of Peter's adventures as Spider-Man in Insomniac's Spideyverse. From tales and memorabilia of classic villains that didn't make it into the game, to Peter mentioning how each encounter helped shape his suit as well as future encounters, this is pure fan service for longtime Spidey followers. One such nod doesn't come from the comics, but from the classic 2004 Spider-Man 2 game, which arguably had the most influence on Insomniac's version of the Web Slinger. Peter will comment on a drawing that all he did was rescue a child's balloon, clearly inspired by one of that title's most annoying side missions. Be good now. What do we say? Hooray for Spider-Man! Goblin Plans What is this thing? Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Much like the inclusion of Dr. Otto Octavius and his eventual turn to the mechanical monstrosity Doc Ock, many were expecting a similar fate for Insomniac's version of Norman Osborn. 
an insomniac appears to already have plans in place for just such an eventuality. Late in the game during one of the <coughs> many stealth sections as Mary Jane, players explore Norman's penthouse, and during their search can find many nods and references to future plans for much of the Green Goblin's artillery. Mary Jane will find not only a prototype Green Goblin helmet, that once donned has the green glider in the upper corner of the HUD, but she will also come across what could possibly be early versions of the Goblin's pumpkin bombs. We don't know what will finally drive Norman to turn into the Green Goblin, but we know we can't wait to find out. I said, get him out! Now! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips for Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.